in the car, watch it go vroom, vroom. I told them all that I blow soon, soon. Knew as a child, back in the womb. Oh, told them step back, I need my broom, broom. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom. I'm in a whip, so I gotta zoom. They tryna talk, they not in a room. I've been so real, I'm dead to the tomb. They in the way, they gotta move. I got a gas, they running on fumes. Told them way back, it's something new. It's me and Dan, you gotta choose. I'm taking my smile, I'm doing fine. Don't see the vision, they looking so blind. I hit my lawyer, I don't got a time. Cross on my T's and he died in those eyes. Don't take offense if I do not oblige. I can't belabor label like none of these guys. They hit me once and I'm cutting the ties. I was so low, but I'm back on the rise, it's real. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom, vroom. I told them all that I was soon, soon. Knew as a child, back in the womb. Oh, told them step back, I need my broom, broom. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom. I'm hopping now, now I gotta go. I'm looking back, they not even close. I had a four, now I need a dose. I got a wave, like I'm on the coast. Same ones are down, and I dare to show. So way that I'm ballin', they think I'm a pro. I'm getting sick by the money I grow. Stay saying whoa. I told them all what it says. I told them all I don't miss. Said it's my time. Look at this shit on my wrist. And when they shootin' this brace, I'm going in. In a new gig, got a shift. I cannot stick to the script. I cannot wait. Watch how I get it and flip. It's just how I'm doing this shit, and I'm gone. Challenging, yeah. but at the same time, I always enjoy coming to Muay Thai, and it never really feels like a chore for me. I joined when I saw it in Freshers Week, and I just really enjoy the culture that I saw at Muay Thai, and all of my friends are sort of here as well. So it feels like a social event sometimes. I think first of all, when am I really going to get the opportunity again to come into a sport as a complete beginner, and then be able to compete at that kind of level? And secondly, I think it's really good to always just keep on pushing yourself and challenging yourself. And I love the sport, so why not? And how are you feeling about the fight coming up? I think there's definitely nerves and a bit of apprehension, but equally, I've been training for quite a while now, and I'm looking forward to it. I kind of just take each day as it comes, but I know that when it comes to that final week, I'll be feeling the nerves a bit more, but I need to just keep on training and trust myself. my 
second fight. I competed last Easter at King's all-female event called Queen of the Ring. I really enjoyed it. It was a really good experience to step in the ring, and it's really nice to see that there's so many more female fighters coming up at the university level. So I think a lot of people might look at signing up for a fight. They might feel kind of intimidated, or they might look at even doing Muay Thai and yeah, so I really empathise with that. I came to the sport as a complete beginner and also a female in a predominantly male-dominated environment. But I think it's just the culture that we have here. I've never felt once at all that I'm not welcome and everyone's really inclusive and friendly. I, I always say to people about Muay Thai, it's more than just a sport. I think a lot of people here, we're like friends, almost the family in a way, as, as cringy as it sounds. You know, everyone's pushing each other just to be a bit better every day. Bella, first of all, I'd have to mention her. I met her during my first week at Muay Thai and she's been a really great training partner for me and now also one of my closest friends. I feel like you definitely build a very close bond because of that. When you're pushing each other to keep going. I'm Bella, I'm a second year I'm studying Russian and history at UCL and I'm president of UCL Muay Thai. Yeah. I started on Muay Thai when I was well, eight or nine and I did it for four years. I competed at national level and then I stopped for a bit because I wasn't in the best headspace and it wasn't great for me mentally. I came to UCL and so Muay Thai wanted to try it out and I fell back in love with the sport because of how lovely it is here. and she was fantastic. She actually started the This Girl Can initiative that we are planning to run this year as well. And I just love to see girls involved in the sport because I was involved in the sport when I was younger and there wasn't a lot of female representation. So it's great to see it now. And one of our best fighters right now of last year so it's been two years now that we've been training together and for last time how did it feel watching her it's not just a friend but someone that's still i think it was really gratifying actually it was like for my first year at muay thai not fighting and this year i'm taking it quite recreationally i realized that now i actually enjoy more giving back being fee in the ring doing so well was something that made me realize that and that's why i feel like i enjoy my role as president at UCL muay thai so much because it's just so good to see the people that you train with just succeed, achieve things that they never thought that they would before. Because a lot of them have been training for a fight since the beginning of the year. Now that we're getting so close, they're just feeling quite riled up and they'll want to just go out there and do it. Go, get, go, go. My name is Phil Casper. I'm a professional fighter and coach at Bloodline Gym and UCL. I am the current world champion at light heavyweight and I have also won the English, British, intercontinental and European titles at Muay Thai, super middleweight and light heavyweight. So I initially started Muay Thai for weight loss. That was my sole entire purpose for starting Muay Thai. A couple of weeks into my training, my coaches said that I was good enough to compete and would I like to, and I said, if you think I'm good enough, I'll do it. Nine years on, I've achieved what I've achieved, and I am where I am now. I competed, I enjoyed it. I never felt an adrenaline buzz like it before, so I decided to carry on, and then I think as I progressed, the goalpost just moves on and on. You see how I've been a coach now for four years. What do you enjoy about it? The progression, uh, just the, the amount of people that I meet, from all walks of life, from all races, from all backgrounds, um, but just seeing their development, coming in as a raw beginner and then actually progressing and actually competing. And then for people like yourself that have gone off, taking it a bit a step further, enjoying professional gyms to go compete elsewhere. And that for me is a great achievement. And in the people you coach, you know, do you see any of yourself as a young person? Yeah, I see a bit of me in, in everybody that trains at UCL. So I understand it's quite a, a hard balance to balance uni life, working life, as well as training. But if you want to do it, you'll do it. And you just have to find what your balance. You just got to find what works for yourself. And two people who have uh, seen you do that, Fee and Alex. Yep. How long have you been coaching? Fee, just over a year now, I believe. Yeah. 
She's come on leaps and bounds. She's a southpaw like myself, so she's a rarity. Um, and if she carries on fighting and training the way she does, she'll be someone to look forward to. Very quiet, very timid, really polite, pleasant person to be around. But listen, she focused. She's getting ready now to fight very soon. So yeah, that's a great achievement for her and myself. She's punctual, she just gets on with it, and she applies herself. And that's all I can ask as a cop. To be honest with you, this year has more probably been the most successful year for the university in terms of coaching. The numbers are all time high. Um, everybody seems to be enjoying it, as you can see behind me. Everyone's here week on, week out, turn up to the fights to support their fellow peers. So it's great. It's really nice to see. And anyone who's looking to join this on the side? They're more than welcome. More than welcome. Well, I guess, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. Thank you. Uh, my name is Alex. Do I look at the camera? Okay. My name is Alex. Uh, I'm a first year studying chemistry. I've been doing Muay Thai for 12 months. It's a cool sport. Um, I did karate for years before. Um, I wanted to try something. Uh, yeah. So where are we now? Uh, we are one week away from my fight. First fight, so I'm pretty excited. Scared, obviously, but like excited. I've been watching a lot of the previous years. Yeah. Really? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, uh, no, that's, that's not quite right. I, I can only do what I can. So. And how busy is your studying schedule? It's getting busier. Lots of labs. Well, training is my relaxation from studying. So. I look forward to training at the end of the day. This, this is my fun. Everything goes out the window, you just forget about everything. When you think about the opponent you're going to face, do you think about that or do you try and you know, yourself? But it's only about my performance, I think. Yeah. But it's only natural to worry about my opponent. I learned a lot from these guys, lots of hard work. They've helped me develop quite a lot. I think when I first came here, everything was a bit shaky, but they've really tightened up my game. I'm more confident in my ability. How far do you see yourself going in more For years, hopefully. I mean, I love this sport, so there are people worse than you, there are people better than you, and everyone's here to learn. Uh, there's no reason to be intimidated. How do you think you'll feel on Very nervous. I mean, it's natural. Like, I've performed before in concerts, I think. It's just part of the process. Do you feel like the same kind of pressure? Obviously, it's very different, but same kind of nerve. Thank you. Our opponent, but we're losing our footwork. I'm seeing a lot of people kind of throwing shots coming in like this. It's not working. Like, one, like, you can't, there's going to be no parachute shots. Two, you can't get away. My name's Dylan. I'm studying statistics. I'm in my final year, and uh, I'm training set. My responsibility mainly is running these Sunday sessions. It's been fun. I'm seeing a lot of tables here. Is this a room normally? This, this is a classroom, really, yeah. Uh, but to be honest, the, the floor is quite good for Muay Thai. It's like wood underneath. The ring would be canvas, but yeah, it's what a ring would be made of, so it's ideal. Traditionally, it's just been a sparring session where people are getting prepared for fights. It's turned into a bit more than that this year. We're working on a bit more technique, doing a few more drills, and taking a lot of the foundations that Phil lays in the week a bit further. Sparring, that's what they Yeah. What we really aim for in these Sunday sessions is intensity with control. We put a lot of work into creating the perfect space for people to exert themselves, to try things that they've learned in a fight simulated environment. We got to the business end of the year where people are training for fights, but we're not fighting each other. We're learning from each other. Now, since you started training. Yeah, I was kind of looking at the form for submissions for fight nights. 
where she submitted her details and I was honestly shocked at how little experience she's had. All she needed to, to do was be channeled in the right direction. Yeah, and, and, and Alex is very talented, he's very talented. He has a strong karate base, but he kind of has an instinct. He's really up for hard training. He's really throwing himself into this. They've both come along and trained externally in bloodline. But the people there have noticed they've made a lot of progress and that they have, they have something about them. And it's his first Muay Thai fight coming. It doesn't feel like it, honestly. He's so composed. I sparred with him two, three weeks ago. He does have like a cadence, a rhythm, and I really back him in being able to, to hold his own in there. Your first fight, what are those feelings like? So for me, it was excitement, but th there is fear. It's a, it, there's a lot of fear. The knowledge that no one else, no other universities at that time were training anywhere near as hard as us or as hard as me really helped in turning that apprehension into fire. They're not training with this intensity. There are other talented fighters from other universities and good coaches, but they're not training the way Alex and Fee have. How's Alex looking going into this Again, he's so chilled out. I like that, I like that. I mean, I don't really see too much of a change. For Fee, I can see there's a bit of nerves. She's got in the ring before, and it's been a while since she has, and she has a lot more experience now, so it's expected that she'll be fighting at a higher level. But I know that she can really psychologically fall back on the hard work that she's put in. It looks like we're just kind of, you know, beating each other up. The way you have to be so vulnerable and accept that you're gonna get hit you're not going to be perfect. It's a real great equaliser, but there's no superficiality to this. It's being vulnerable, maybe getting hurt, but, but improving yourself every week. Remember that all of you guys have been putting in the work, and um, right now it's, it's about doing yourself proud. There's no like last minute stuff. Is, um, it might make you feel more confident, but, but you've done everything that you need to do. And um, it's about doing yourself justice now. Does anyone want to volunteer and help me run the best? Free entry. Free entry. the opposite it's kind of high work and all the work is kind of for myself and the reward comes in these in these few occasions that I get to remember for a lifetime Nerves hit people in different ways. 
and it's literally just how you cope with the nerves and use the nerves to fuel your fight. Um, that was the way I looked at it and it got me through my career. Cut out a piece of